I'm Lara Garitano, I'm co-chair of the Art Commission of the Pikes Peak Region. I'm going to have a little PowerPoint for you here. I wanted to spend some time today updating you on the work that the Art Commission has been doing this year in terms of goal setting and development of a work plan. Let's see if I can make the PowerPoint work. Um, and I also thought it would be fun to take you on a little visual tour of some of the pieces that are in the city and county collections. So, I'm not really going to talk about the individual pieces today, just in the interest of time, but there's credit information at the bottom of every slide so that you can see the artist's name and the title. Uh, and for any of you who are familiar with the Art Commission, the commission was established in 1982 by the city of Colorado Springs and El Paso County. We are an all-volunteer board appointed, appointed by city council, and there are positions among our membership for elected officials. So we have a liaison to the city of Colorado Springs city council, and then also the El Paso County Board of Commissioners. And the Art Commission is charged with acting in an advisory capacity to if there's a string of verbs here, to evaluate, stimulate, facilitate, and advocate for matters of public art and culture. And this year, thanks to support from the State of Colorado Creative Industries Peer Assistance Network, we were able to do some facilitated goal setting, and we were able to plot a course for the work that we want to do over the next 12 months. So I want to tell you a little bit about that goal setting process and some of the goals that we came up with. Our uh, goal setting session was facilitated by Catherine Underhill from Boulder. And because we wanted to come out of this process with really realistic and attainable goals, we embraced a couple of realities in our planning process. The first one being the very real challenge of operating right now with no staff and no budget. Um, which is, can be a challenge. Um, we, we also wanted to uh, make sure that any work that we plan for would fit into the regional cultural landscape. So we considered the objectives that were uh, that came up during the community generated cultural plan developed by Copper. And then we also sent out a survey to about 50 arts and community leaders. A lot of you helped us with that survey so that we could solicit input on the work of the Art Commission. The results of that survey were incredibly useful in our work and based on a combination of those, the realities that we had identified, and then the goal setting process that we went through, the Art Commission plans to focus on fulfilling a niche related to a municipal art and public places program. So I'll get a little more specific now and tell you a little bit about what public art we're talking about, why we decided to focus on public art, and then some of the specific things that we plan to do, and how we'll do them too. Um, the public art that we're talking about for the purposes of this project is 2D and 3D art that's either owned or on loan to the City of Colorado Springs and El Paso County. And why did we decide to focus on public art? I mentioned that we had sent out a survey as part of our planning process. The results from that survey, more than half of the responses identified public art as a gap in service that's impacting our regional cultural community. Public art has also been identified as a, an important objective in Copper's cultural plan. And then the city of Colorado Springs and El Paso County both have public art collections with really great civic assets, but there's not a lot of information available to the public about the pieces. So now, what will we do and how will we do it? Uh, we have two specific goals identified in terms of an art and public places program. The first one is to compile an inventory of the existing pieces in the collections. And then the second one is to get more art into public and civic building spaces, especially outside of downtown. Uh, we've started working on that first goal. Uh, we have an inventory started for the city of Colorado Springs that the Pioneers Museum had worked on. So we have information for about 50 pieces so far. And we're in the process of gathering the details on the uh, El Paso County information. And then once we have images and information for all the pieces, our plan is to make it available to the public. And uh, this is where I need to go online if I'm able to. Go. So let's see if this works here. If not, it's not that big a deal. Um, but Peak Radar actually has a. I don't think it's going to let me go Uh, so Pink Raider actually has a public art directory piece that is available but not 
currently being used. And this is an example of how the public art directory might work. This is Fort Worth, Texas, their website. And they're using the same software as Peak Radar, and this is their public art directory. So there's room for all of the pieces in the collection, and then it's actually searchable by type and location and artist name. And then if you go to If you go to an individual listing, you can see that there's a space for an image, there's a nice listing about the piece, there's actually a link to the artist's website, information about who owns the work, and then details on how you can go and see the work with the location and the map. Thank you. 